Sagittarius. What have y'all been up to? Probably a whole lot of uh, traveling and globe trotting. I love it because that's what y'all do. Anyway, Sagittarius, I hope you all missed me because I missed you all. So I'm back again with my individual zodiac signs. So I needed to come back to give everybody their time. And right now, eh, the time is yours. So anyway, Sagittarius, you already know the deal. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to book a person or really want me, my information is down below. And more importantly, if there is something in this message that you do not agree with or that does not resonate with you, you know what to do. Leave that shit on the floor. Leave it at the door. Somebody else will come along and pick it up. It might be for them. All right? It's not for you. It's not for you. And that's all it is to it. Um, we've been getting some very interesting storylines, you know, with a lot of these readings with your fellow fire signs. So let's see what all comes out uh, for you. Let's see what comes out for you. Oh, but well we had two cards. So let's see. Oh, baby. What are y'all walking away from? What are y'all walking away from? Y'all walking away from the bullshit. That's what it is. <laughs> walking away from the mess. Okay, here we go with the Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. And Three of Cups. Somebody, okay, put the energies where they go, but there is one energy here who's abandoning something, or they're walking away, they're emotionally withdrawing, um, removing themselves, because, okay, they were tired of fighting, and when I say tired of fighting, they were tired of playing third, maybe fourth, fiddle. They were tired of coming in um, third, best, third rate, not calling someone um, third rate or anything or uh, uh, trying to make someone feel inferior. That's not what I'm saying here. But what I'm saying is someone is walking away from someone else or other people who had a habit of putting other people before them. So, now this is pretty much someone saying, okay, well, you know what? I don't feel as if I'm a priority. I don't feel as if I get the same recognition or I get the same attention as whatever is going on over here or whoever um, and however many are involved. Because I'm not receiving that attention, because I don't get treated in the same manner or because I'm treated um, like less than. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> someone, <clears throat> yeah, because I'm treated <laughs> as if I'm less than, then I'll just remove myself from this equation. Now that someone has done that, um, I feel as if the realizations have been coming in for another person. Uh, two, you don't know what you had till it's gone. You don't know what you got till it's gone. So that just uh, ran through my mind. So this someone someone had a someone had a problem with blocking out outside connections someone had a problem with letting other people interfere and when i say letting other people interfere it could be any relationship it could be family it could be friends it could be um other extracurricular lovers i don't know whatever the situation is for you but someone was just very weak here. I'm not I'm not missing my damn words. And you know what? I shouldn't have to because Sagittarius, y'all are very blunt. So you understand. Someone was weak as fuck right here. And they allow other energies to come in, to infiltrate, to take over, to influence, rather than having a backbone for themselves. So you got tired of that shit. Or somebody got tired of that shit and they walked away from it. 
Which I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> King of Wands right here. And this four of wands in the reverse. Um, yeah, this today, uh, and I don't know, maybe because it's this firepower, but the King of Wands, it, it He's coming out, but he is giving me an energy of just arrogance today. Okay? That's what it is. He is giving me an energy of arrogance. So whoever this arrogant person was thought that they could have their cake and eat it too. Which I kind of hate that saying, by the way. Because if it's my cake, then why should I not enjoy my cake? That's what the cake is for. We're here to eat it. What we just going we go gonna just look at the cake. We're just gonna bake the cake and then just look at the cake and admire it. No, let's eat this damn cake. Let's enjoy it. The problem comes when someone wants the cake. They want the ice cream. They want the pie. They want the cookies. They want the banana pudding. They want all the damn desserts here. Fool, you have a whole cake in front of you that was just baked to perfection. But you'd rather go out here and deal with these little Debbie snacks. Okay? That's what's happening here. We have a homemade red velvet cake right here with homemade cream cheese frosting and hell. Like my grandma used to do, um, crush up some pecans and sprinkle that shit on top and you have a delicious red velvet cake right here in front of you that's made for you. But you'd rather go out here and you'd rather go get a damn zebra cake from the damn 7-Eleven uh, for 20, 50 cent. Shit, they used to cost 25 cent. Now they cost 50. <laughs> I'm literally going off because I can feel this energy. This King of Wands is pissing me off today, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. He pissing me off for real. But this is arrogant. Somebody was very arrogant and they overstepped their boundaries. They thought that um, someone was always going to be around. They thought that someone was always going to open the doors to their home, open the doors to their heart, open the doors to wherever the doors are. But, no, 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 now someone left the cake out in the rain. MacArthur Park is going through my head, um, Donna Summer. So that's pretty much a song about being jilted, I think, um, you know, something that you, something that was so beautiful and something that was so delicious and something that um, someone wanted, you let it go to waste. Someone let something go to waste. You let the cake go to waste. The delicious red velvet cake. <laughs> sorry, you all. No, I'm not sorry. Shit, this is entertainment. I'm entertaining, my, I'm entertaining my damn self. So hopefully I'm entertaining you all as well. Here we go with the Seven of Cups. Um, I'll get into it. The Hangman. And then the Moon card. Mm. Now they realize. Now they realize that uh, some of these um, other dalliances, whether it be other um, extracurricular relationships or whether it be their own family or their own friends or even uh, work situations, whatever was coming in between or causing some interference, now someone is realizing that they had been duped the whole time. These people were fooling them. These people were just getting into their ear. They were confusing them. Um, they were confusing them and keeping them in this dream world or this delusional world right there. Possibly putting this person up on a pedestal, blowing their head up. This is why they felt that it was okay to have um, options or that it was okay to... Um, place other people on a grander scale rather than rather than um, put the other person whoever whatever, this person who walked away rather than putting them on some kind of scale or pedestal as well I mean look and that 
we don't have we don't need to put people on pedestals okay that's what i'm not saying but the energy that i'm getting is someone was always putting other things first over and over and over again to the point where someone just said well I'm not getting the attention that I need here. I'm not feeling the love here. I'm not getting whatever it is that I need. So therefore, I'm out. I'm gone. And that's what happened. Now someone has received the clarity. Now someone has received the clarity. And with the seven of cups, as I said, they can see they can see that they had the wool pulled over their eyes by some of these people, some of these um um energies that they were dealing with because now they receive this clarity this was an energy that of someone I feel they they kept people they they kept people waiting but when I say waiting is they would put people in a certain type of position to where it made someone feel that they couldn't move. But, and I feel as if it could have been this Eight of Cups right here. So let me say that again. Whoever this energy is that has now um, kind of come to a realization about something, a realization about who or whatever it is that they lost, they they are the ones who and this is why, because they knew what they were doing. They knew that they were either stringing someone along or they knew that uh, someone will always be there for them. I think that's what it was. They felt they were arrogant enough to think that someone will always have the door open, would leave the door open for them while they um, while they were out doing whatever, wherever, to whoever, put that where it goes, you know. It does not matter. But they would just keep someone in place. But someone received their own clarity and said, okay, I don't have to stay here. <laughs> I can leave. Okay, that's pretty much what it is. So now some things have come to the surface. Um, some things have come to the surface. Uh, what was once hidden or what was once kept in secret now now it's being exposed a bit and what is being exposed could possibly be the feelings of this person now as i said they're waking up and pretty much saying to themselves damn i didn't know what i had until it was gone well i mean what do you what do you want us to do with that, huh? <laughs> what do you want us to do with that? Yeah, they're being very sensitive. Damn, y'all! I shuffled these cards before I um did the video, but before I began the video, and as you as I'm over here talking, you saw me shuffling these cards. But both of these cards actually came out together in Leo's video, and they came out in in this same um, section right here. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Um, this person, whoever this is, now they're in an energy of wanting to be more sensitive. Mm -hmm. Now they're trying to get more in tune and more in touch with their own feelings. So in the past, uh, they weren't, they, as I said, they, there, there was something that we, they were keeping a secret. There was something that we, they were keeping very close to the chest that they did not want to get out. And it possibly could have been. This person might have been a very sensitive person. Or this person could have uh, had genuine emotion or feelings for someone. But here's the thing. Closed mouths don't get fed. A closed mouth does not get fed. So... You move your feet, you lose your seat. That's what my stepdad used to say too. Move your feet, you lose your seat. <clears throat> you moved out of this place or you kept someone in a position to where they felt they couldn't move because it was more advantageous for this person to keep them there. 
as I said, they could go back and forth possibly if it was between two people or two people or more people or they this was always a holding place. So now someone has moved their feet, okay? And I don't blame you. So this person, whoever whoever walked away right here, and it could be you, um, uh, Sagittarius, this this is pretty much them saying too, okay, well, kind of the same energy. You move your feet, you lose your seat. You don't speak up. You don't say anything. That is an indic. To me, that's an indication of a, a, a choice right there. Um, no action is the action, to be honest, if you ask me. So, and I say that, for example, um, if this is indeed someone who had other outside influences and things going on, but they would not, um, they wouldn't possibly admit feelings. You So if that was the case, they wouldn't admit that because they were too stubborn, too prideful, as I said, too arrogant in a way whatever the situation may have been for them. Um, that's pretty much the, them not being willing to open up, them not being willing to open up and to express themselves. As I said, that puts people at a disadvantage, but someone knew that they were putting someone at a disadvantage the more that they would withhold their feelings. So, now, so that's pretty much, again, like I said, that's a choice to me because you're choosing not to take some action. You're choosing not to do something. You, you're you choosing not to um, engage in this connection. So you know what? Maybe you need to get up out of this seat and remove yourself to make room for someone else. Hmm. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. So... With this Queen of uh, Wands energy right here, uh, ooh, this could have been a couple as well, or it could have been a couple because I just realized the King and the Queen of Wands are here. Um, this could have involved a, a marriage or a couple, um, you know, right there, and. I said, well, okay, because a few things go through my head. <laughs> so, and I just want to make sure I remember them all. But this person right here, as I said, this this was them. They operated more in this King of Wands arrogant energy, what I'm picking up today. But the thing, the gag is, the real secret was they were very sensitive underneath. And even though they held, it was always something a bit mysterious, I feel. That was pretty much the mystery of something. So, Sagittarius, if this is you and this is a person or someone you are dealing with or an energy or whoever it was, and again, it doesn't have to be just one person. It could be however many people are involved in this situation. And also, um, in whatever area it applies, what this is saying is, You didn't really see this sensitive side. You didn't. Re this was a mystery. The Queen of Wands is all about um, just very attractive, very attractive on the outside, but you don't know what exact. You don't know exactly what's going on on the inside. With um, it was what I'm picking up with both of these coming out. So this was this was a very surface level relationship in a lot of ways. Damn, the Queen of Pentacles comes out again. Um, she came out in the uh, video for Leo as well. But she was up here. But all three of these queens here, and as I said, there could someone could have easily had their choice between 
three or more people or two or more people or however it was or this could have been uh, as I said someone who just uh, had a relationship at home but then they let work relationships come into play or they let family relationships come into play just just really 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 messing with the energy or really causing some kind of interference with the energy with the knight of pentacles right here it comes out in the reverse and then we have the ten of swords queen of pentacles then we have five of pentacles in the reverse and then the nine of cups so Something, something definitely came to an end with this Ten of Swords here. It was, um, someone felt hurt, uh, a bit backstabbed, uh, sh shoot, now I'm picking up the energy. <laughs> Who, okay, whoever or whatever these outside influences were, at some point down the line oh that's okay that's why someone now has woken up that's why someone has now seen uh they they they've come out of this uh fantasy world that they were in because they were they they get they got stabbed in the back they got betrayed somehow so the energies turned on them at one point they were the ones who were big men on campus and just the end all be all but now because they just kept allowing these other uh people to keep coming in they just kept getting stabbed in the back or actually this is someone who had been getting stabbed in the back or getting betrayed behind the back the whole time but the only thing was of course these people weren't going to say anything because they were benefiting something from this person they were benefiting from this person somehow whether it was taking their energy whether it was getting money whether it was having a place to stay a home or something i don't know what it was but someone was benefiting from someone now when I, and they didn't realize this until someone else walked away. When that main person, which is probably you, Sagittarius, when you walked away or when you uh, disconnected, then that's when um, that's when all this other energy kind of started turning on them um, in a way. And now there's some they're they're hoping and wishing. <laughs> they're wishing they they want to get back into someone's good graces five of pentacles it comes out in the reverse this is uh wanting to come in from the cold and get what we want you know have our wishes fulfilled right there so they they drag their feet on a situation or either they were just so gung-ho to rush into other situations that all they did was just cause their own demise in a way. So they could have played you or played someone, but then all they did was get involved with people or with these energies that were using them, that lying to them, manipulating them, taking advantage of them for their own gain. And when they, when these energies had uh, taken all they could take, <coughs> excuse me, when they had taken all they could take from someone or when they had used up someone enough, then they discarded them. Possibly the same way that they discarded you, Sagittarius. So now they know how it feels. Now they're locked out of heaven a bit. <laughs> That's what I always say with this five uh, pentacles card that comes out. Wanting to come back inside because it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. But hey, what y'all gonna do? Anyway, Sagittarius, thank you all for joining me again for your weekly reading. So I pray that you all enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, That's pretty much it, y'all. So...
Shoot. What you gonna do? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.